Hi, I'm Josh Hartung. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Harbor Technologies. We build a software platform called PolySync. This platform is used for building autonomous driving cars, and it's used by tier ones and OEMs that really accelerates their development and deployment schedules by years. We partnered with Renesys, and we're running this on Renesys' high power processors, RCAR H2. In the back of the car, you'll see two Renesys RCAR H2 development boards. These are hooked up to the sensing suite that we talked about on the vehicle, and they're being used to process and fuse 100% of the data. It's a massive data load. Um, and make it available to developers through a simple and easy to use API. The sensors on this car are LiDAR, radar, GPS I IMU, as well as camera systems. In the mirrors we have two scanning LiDAR units. These are made by a company called Velodyne. And there's also a camera underneath and five more cameras arrayed around the vehicle for surround view. There's cameras behind the windshield for obstacle detection and lane detection. And then behind the bumpers, there are radar units for detecting other cars. There's also a six sensor LiDAR fusion system on a vehicle that's taking drives in the parking lot. What you're seeing on the screens is a 3D visualization of point data generated by the LiDAR units which are in the rear view mirrors. These LiDARs are generating about 400,000 points per second and it's a real time 3D map of the environment around the vehicle. That map can be used to localize the vehicle so you know where it is in space. It can also be used to detect obstacles and drivable paths so the vehicle can drive safely through crowded environments. This is used for object classification and what our software does is combines all these into a unified view of the environment for use in obstacle avoidance or path planning procedures.